In the late 1970s, or maybe early 80s, uh, Peter Jones discovered a century-old collection of letters in the attic of his parents' house in Bethesda, Maryland. They were sent by his great-great-great-grandfather, Brian Hunt, to his son, John, who had emigrated from Kilkelly, County Mayo, in Ireland. They were dictated to the local school teacher Pat McNamara, because most people weren't uh, weren't too uh, confident in their writing skills. And it's interesting that uh, John didn't take his mother's advice. He did actually work on the railway, Kilkelly, Ireland. <laughs> Kilkelly, Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat McNamara, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England, the house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected, the third to a half of them bad And your sister Bridget and Michael O'Donnell Are going to be married in June Your mother says not to work on the railway And be sure to come home soon Kilkelly, Ireland, 18 and 70, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children, may they grow healthy and strong. Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble, I suppose that he never will learn. Because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of, and now we have nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy, you named the child for her, although she had six of her own. You say you found work, but you don't say what kind, or when you'll be coming home. Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 80, dear Michael and John, my sons. I'm sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother is gone. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly, your brothers and Bridget were there. Don't need to worry. She died very quickly, remember her in your prayers. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning with money, he's sure to buy land. For the crop has been poor and the people are selling any price that they can. Kilkelly, Ireland, 18 and 90, my dear and loving son John. I suppose that I must be close on to 80, it's 30 years since you've gone. Because of all of the money you sent me, I'm still living out on my own. Michael has built himself a fine house Bridget's daughters are grown and thank you for sending your family picture your lovely women and men you say that you might even come for a visit what joy to see you again Kelly Ireland, 18 and 92, my dear brother John, 
I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you that father passed on. He was living with Bridget, she said he was cheerful and healthy right down to the end. Ah, you should have seen him play with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him alongside of mother down at the Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and a feisty old lad, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you, he called for you at the end. Oh, why don't you think about coming to visit? We'd all love to see you again. Kelly.